Thanks for tuning in to part three of modeling these spy goggles. I think we're pretty much going to finish up uh, the modeling uh, today, tonight. And uh, here we go. Let's just uh, rotate this in the Z a little bit. Oh, we're not even centered, are we? All right, let's do that then. Okay, let's grab that. Yeah, helps to do that. Okay, let's try it now. I just want to have that a little bit like that. Okay, so here's what I was thinking. <clears throat> let's put a couple of edge loops on here and make a little space. That's a bit better. Let's take this, select those, E and zoom in a little bit. Alt S will push that in a little bit. Make a little indentation there. Like that. Okay. And then I might sharpen it up, we'll see. And then I can grab all these polys and we'll copy them and make them a new object. Um, yeah, let's bring the origin of that. Select them. Actually, we'll make them a bit small, just a little bit smaller scale in the Y, just as an attachment there. Well, actually, we're gonna have to make them somewhat smaller. I want it to fit on there. So I might make I might make this smaller as well. I certainly wouldn't leave it like that. Or right, let's just scale that out. E and Alt S and I'll bring it in. Let's flip the polys and put on some edge loops on this guy. Scale that in the Y. And we'll pull one up that and on the other side let's just have a quick look at that so I have that band there whoops let's not do that all right let's go back in to this guy and in wireframe let's see if I can grab all of that and uh, scale in the Y how's that I got them, I can scale them in the Y a bit more. <clears throat> I'm thinking about making this a bit thicker. You know, like that. And then what I was thinking I would do is just choose a couple of polys. Let's try that. Just e extrude them a, a little bit and then a bunch more to make contact with that. Okay. Again, just to sharpen it up a little bit. Doesn't need to be too much. I might want to leave that part like that. And that just makes contact there. Okay, so just a way to hold that, hold that thing on there. And um, you know, I have well, not that. That shift H. I haven't been getting rid of back save faces. I could do some of that. Let's get rid of these. Uh huh. That helped a lot. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, let's come over here to this thing. <clears throat>
turn off that and I'll grab this edge. Shift D and P. Get that edge, there it is. Let's turn that back on. Okay. And for this, I don't know, maybe maybe I would just do grid fill and extrude it a little bit but I don't think I'm going to do subdivision surface on this I'm not sure maybe I am maybe I'm not oops flip the polys leave that for the time being just think about what we're going to do with that all right let's uh, let's do something for the band okay so what I want to do is I'm going to bring in a cube scale it down and make the attachment point of a strap of sorts do this let's push it back a ways so it doesn't come through maybe we can bevel this Just start start with that piece there. And then I'll select that. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a curve path, rotate Z90, and bring it down down like that. Let's look from the top view, and I'll bring it down. It's a bit more central. Okay, I'm going to take that and just start curving it in. Let's leave it there for now. And then what I want to try is I'll bring in a, a curved circle. And I'll scale it down and bring it over. Let's select the curve itself and under here choose for bevel object. Okay. And choose that. And then I'll get that shape. And then what I can do is I can then go into my circle here and I can play with the shape. Like for example, scale in the X. I can do this kind of thing. You know, so you can get some interesting shapes. Okay, hang on there, kiddo. There we go. And I was just thinking of like, just like a hard piece of of plastic. Let's make it a bit thicker though actually. Now that I think about it, well, on the other hand, not necessarily. Let's mirror it though. Let's select this. Yes, cursor is selected, and then we'll take this origin of 3D cursor and put the mirror on it with respect to this guy here. So that'll be there, and let's do the same thing with this one. And there it is. You know, and if you wanted to do a more interesting shape, 
You could try different things here. Take that last point and um, I, could, I could bring it across and try clipping. We'll see how well it would uh, make, make the join. So that's, you know, something I could do for a band. And it's certainly not my favorite part at all, but that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm thinking of doing. Okay, so next part is materials and texturing. Thanks for watching.